And for me, loyalty um, stands as one of the most important things to any industry and to any relationship. So, um, he was the person that put me on, 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 on the map and allowed me to be able to take care of my family. I can remember so many difficult times in my family, and my mom, and my dad, and my siblings, siblings and everybody. You know, and, and the connection with him and what resulted from that, the success and everything kind of made it able for me to kind of just take care of everybody and, and take care of my life and take care of my family and, and take care of my bills. So quite obviously for me, that means a lot more than what like, the industry might have to offer, you know, that they see mm-hmm. and you make a name for yourself and, and everybody has to say, oh, they more they more work with you, you know. Um, is is not that me, is it? So I I I it, quite obviously it never affected me in any form of way. I am the man. <laughs> <laughs> so so it's so, definitely dude, no no, no it's seriously. Um, I am so, the man. Uh, I definitely, I definitely like your perspective and like how, you know, you look at it. Um, do you find that because of that initial connection with Alkaline, like, no, you have developed, um, you know, your own selective process. And what would you say is like a main criteria that you look for before, you know, jumping to work with, with, with an artist? I think, I think he's more personality too, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Because... Um, I love music and I, and I love artists and I, I will listen to music and I will listen to artists and everything. But sometimes you know you're just in your zone and I've been through so much as 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 my can tell earlier. I've been through so much, I've been through so much. Sometimes you kinda just you know, you just wanna take a break some of the time. Um and not that I'm always working, you know. Like I'm, I'm always working. I'm always in the studio. I'm always on the road with work as everybody know. Is every day, is every week, and every day, every day, every day, every day. But sometimes mentally, I have to take a break from, you know, this part of thing on that chat. Bring up me and your thing where you have going on your life and where you associated with and and my brand and not really pre the direction the way the artist they might have gone. The artist they might have said something and. And probably you not know, mean it to say, you know, this is in values and 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 and, and in morals, but in probably a charity right now to kind of just feed him family or, or get himself out of a, a, a bad position. But at the end of the day, for me, is the, the higher energies are so important to me. I'm kind of have to keep myself aligned with that as much as I possibly can. You know, mm-hmm. so sometimes with the selection, with the selection of the artist. I just try to be patient, you know. I try to be patient and I try to create music and I try to listen. And I'm never on it. So, if you know most producers, they might try to get a hit and they might try to run the place and they might try to on the Instagram thing and they might try to on the TikTok thing and they might try to ensure so you know, they might wear what they're talking about and they might try to, you know. For, for 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 to kind of oversaturate um the audience with certain things, and to me it's just like you know I'm kind of just focused on uh, making four fifty that superstar and making some music with Alkaline and um the people in that mob um in my circle and you know the, the younger ones around me especially uh, like Diva Dina and and Voldemort and as creatives you know kind of just mm-hmm. kick it with my family. And and hold some vibe because people might be listening in this interview and it, it's kind of where they where they mirror and where where they might see online and I say yo, you know, G them like good man and you know you put out a piece of music or you put out a even music for your three minutes and and some seconds and it look like she had the best minute I, I anybody like it just look like the representation of. Our lives should be like, but you have to go through so much, some of the time to create. You have to just ultimately just be in charge of your energy and a certain environment, like totally. Yeah. 
I absolutely respect that because protecting your energy is so important. And I'm really happy that we are having this conversation and you're bringing us on your journey because on the outside looking in, you know, it may seem like Javi Ambassador is just this extrovert is ah, always at a hundred. And it's like, you know, you're an introverted extrovert. Like you'll step outside when, when it's, when you, when you're around your people, but outside of that, like, you know, you, you seem so chilled and it's like, you are also about that positivity, which, you know, on the outside looking in, people may, may not get that from you. Um, what would you say is the biggest misconception about Javi ambassador that you hear? Um, that more, that more like the outside are, you know, my, my, my about that life. For lack of a better word, Christ. For me, mm -hmm. I don't even drink. I don't even drink or smoke. You see it? Mm -hmm. but, but I don't even drink or smoke. I don't even oh, think wow. my mother knows. I don't even think my mother knows I'm a cuss bottle more time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. You're upholding I, I am, your churchical days. I am, <laughs> I am so, I am not an innocent kid, but I am so, I'm so reserved. Um, mm -hmm. I, I am, I'm in music, but I love the silence so much. I, I, I am, I am really the type of person that will stay home and just get out of some food and put on some video games. I put on some music in other house. I put on a movie, and and that is a hundred for me. I I was even saying to four fifty the other day that we travel so much, and. We really need to kind of just enjoy the experiences as young people when we go to these different places and 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 try some new cultures and and some new things because the music can be so so fast paced. It's like it's from hotel room to hotel room and plane mm -hmm. to plane and this to this and stage to stage, and you kind of can just miss out on life a little bit when you try for 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 get life, you know. So you know, I I'm I'm trying to be a little bit more proactive in terms of the excitement and, and kind of you know, <laughs> and going out somewhere but I am really and truly kind of just to myself and to my people and, and you know my, totally. yeah, my friends them totally get it now in 2019 you met in a serious car accident you know which inspired the soul survivor rhythm take us back to this mm -hmm. moment and how you used music to heal yeah, I, it was the same um, industry. I was I was coming home from an event where I went to do some promotion. I was heading home and I lost control of the vehicle. Um, that is the only thing I could remember. And I can remember Vietnam, my younger brother, we there um, over me. I said, yo, in the dead, in the dead, in the dead. And I just remember waking up. In the hospital, those, those are just the two things I could remember. I just remember mm -hmm. my brother over me saying, Yo, he's not dead. Because I guess people thought driving past, like, Yo, he's dead. So, you know, you know, I sent some food to him out here and him, him got blood up the car for no reason at all. So, I can remember my younger brother just rushing from the scene and I said, Yo, he's not dead, he's not dead, he's not dead. I remember that. And I just remember waking up in the hospital and I was so grateful for another chance at life. and I really hate to talk about this topic because I get so emotional about it. And you know, I'm I'm just happy to, to, to be here. I know that there are so many persons in the world that have had similar traumas, you know, so that they can understand what it means like for to carry us wake up every morning and you know. Um I drive fast that um accident scene in my dream car and that to me is kind of a blessing how far I have come and uh, alkaline just kind of expressed with me during the time that you know you have to kind of just use music as the tool there that will keep you going and you know the industry can be so, um, so toxic and, and, and kind of corrupt people will, will use it as something like can you know try to drive you drive you know the growth so you have to just you have to just forward strong you know and from that um this fight um, the disabilities with me using my hands at the time, being fractured from the accident. Like I just made a pain going out of the studio, 
respect me. I owe so much because it felt like angels made that reading to be honest. You probably should have yeah. been touched by an angel. Probably should have been touched by an angel reading, but it felt like angels made it because um regardless of the situation that I was in, kind of just it just happened. And you know, uh it took some time to to come together, um, big up all of the artists them that um gave me the support and that had uh, so much success with, with that rhythm. And you know, um is a part of is a part of who I am today. Uh, I'm always looking forward to making uh, more music like that. Uh, I have more music like that coming soon too. But as I say, it just it, it's time and and patience and, and it goes back it, it shows that I'm not even trying to, to be a facade about music. Like what Mr. Originally, it goes back to me and the music. When when we connect in such a way, it works out in in, in such a beautiful way. And that was the source of vibrating for me. It made uh, Rolling Rolling Stone um top twenty five rhythms that um impacted the culture. And recently that was a huge success for me. I had I've had that rhythm being featured in so much things um worldwide, internationally. Um, the cranium um, does so well internationally. The alkaline of part of all of them shots, they, they, they really hit big on the international scene. And I've had so many um, international superstars that reach out and say, you know, it's, it's the really man, it's the environment thing. I, I love that, you know. That is awesome. But, you know, you are one of the few producers that have stopped, tapped in tapped into corporate Jamaica, you know, from sneaker to car. Um, talk, talk to us about that and what do you think was that distinguishing quality that you have, why corporate reach out to you to be brand ambassadors or to be a brand ambassador? I'm a, I'm a lovable guy. I'm a lovable guy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a lovable guy. As I say, I, I keep it simple and I think um, a lot of people can identify with that. Yeah, I'm never in um the drama and the mix up. The most it might be sometimes some things like the internet. Um women related, but it's not an, <laughs> usually not, not it's usually not next to you know, I've I've seen a few stuff online, but I guess with that um corporate can understand that is um a person that then can take a chance in. And also, um, dance all the nature and the culture of it is not the most welcoming thing in terms of what it portrays. So not everybody is going to have that immediate, you know, click to say, oh, yeah, let's, let's invest and let's put, put our brand inside of it. And as much as we love the culture, I think it's just the truth, the lyrics and, and everything is kind of just, you know, so when corporate realize that they probably can find one or two people that then can safely invest in and say, oh, this person might can you know, kind of keep things on the safe side. I think that is what it is, I guess. Do you still um rep for those brands? And give us, a, don't just talk about it. So tell us what the brands were. Um. I can't, I can't remember everybody, but I know I've worked with um Western Sports. I got a sneaker deal with them. Um, I did Jaguar. Um, mm -hmm. I was featured for their ad campaign. Them Jaguar they've done by the way. They probably need to cook me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I can't remember everybody off um top of the list. I recently know. Managing 450 and even with the, the event that is coming up on uh, May 11th in Houston, I have so much corporate support. Um, so I guess my relationships from from that kind of just bring everybody together, you know, another mm -hmm. same umbrella. Let, let's talk about um, Javi Ambassador, the artist manager, and the work that you're doing with, with, with 450. Um, I know it's not a transition because, you know, you're still ultimately a producer, but um, what, what is it like being, a, being, a, being an artist manager in comparison to, you know, your production work? I think fairly is, uh, in terms of the creative aspect, with me on 450, 
um, we, we still spend a lot of time in the studio doing what I uh, usually do as a music producer. Separate and apart from um, the management of his career, I do have a strong team, administrative team, team that um, helps with, with, with the workload, but it's still in the atmosphere, in the creative atmosphere. And and I love it so much. You know, 450 is really, really um, doing well. And he's, he's such a great artist, such a great writer, such a great performer, such a great creative. And, you know, not in comparison, but his work ethic and just his creative style reminds me a, a lot like being introduced to Alkaline and the love that they have the music and the love for the potential of the music. I think that comparison sits, sits well with the both of them in terms of you will have artists that will get a rhythm and say anything on it because they might want the trendy or because they might want to be a part of the conversation. But over the years working with um, both of them, the, the the potency, especially for example, for you to do that song called Cold Street. A, a lot of artists, artists maybe can do it, but it's not a lot of artists can sit down and narrate music and someone's life and the culture. And that for me is kind of just um incredible. A whole you he know he's able for yeah, how he's just able to kind of just Say so, yo, but me, me now I just go up on the rhythm and go say yo, this that that because they must say that around you. So, and a lot of times you can survive on and break break by just working with everybody. As they say, if they must say yo, a mango tree at this long tomorrow, they must just say yo, we just have to put mango tree in our song and one heap of time I've seen that working the industry. I've seen so many times when there was even with the chopping thing. It's like everybody just has to say, oh, here you are. Chopping thing, I eat our work. So we just have a, we just have a sitting about chopping. And you have artists that have made successful careers out of it and just sing about it. And I say, yo, maybe I'm not even a chop, but, but at least the industry I deal with and at that level I deal with. So for kind of, for kind of, if poor people just, you know, the industry when everybody is doing something, I think it's like, no, nah, boss. You see, and him knows I mean, he share the same sentiments about selling foolishness. So it's like, I don't really care who they want to sing about. I don't care who they want to deal with. This is what I deal with. Pull up a reading. You see? So mm-hmm. that and for me just kind of just makes it. And that is awesome because, you know, when we really look at his career and, you know, through the social media spaces, you kind of get an idea of, you know, how he is doing internationally, the shows that, that, that he's doing and the performance and the reception and that kind of thing. It's evident that there is structure to, to what 450 has going on. So it makes a lot of sense with what you've just um, outlined for us with the work that you're doing with him. Tell us a little bit more about the concert that you're planning for next month and what is the intent for for that 450 event? What do you hope to achieve? First of all, I'm going to start by saying I need the entire sentence for curious whether it's this event, don't understand any of the North Coast. 450 has so much fun this on the night because I remember we came down there a couple weeks ago and did a show and it um, was jumper. There's like, so much fun um, on that side and I just want to use the opportunity to tell Ocheria say if you want transportation, if you need a shuttle service to come to Kingston on May 11, reach out to me. You know me? I've got you on because it's important that we connect and and just kind of show that you know we we can have fun um doing this music thing as well and i think it's just a moment in his career for kind of just you know bring it to the next level and and, and just show people what he's capable of he's gonna um upon himself a catalog of music that that is that is so good and i think mm-hmm. um you now is the time to kind of just put that body of work together and 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 just you know put it out there so Instead of the usual traditional 
um do a party or do a, a thing. I think the nature of how his career is being managed and the focus that I want to put on him, I think is important for, for the, the event of, of, of such a catch myself. It's May 11th uh, in Kingston at the Randy Williams Entertainment Center. Please don't miss it. Um, we've been working so hard every day in terms of mm-hmm. Putting this, putting this show together. We're in the studio from Monday to Thursday, and we leave every weekend on Fridays and come back on Mondays. Monday nights, we're in the studio. Back to Thursdays again every night, then we leave on Friday because, as everybody knows, he is one of the most um, toured artists as a young artist. So mm-hmm. he's always away. So the sacrifice that we've made to put this show together. Um, is incredible in terms of the rehearsals and getting the band together and traveling and doing studios and interviews and 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 meeting with the fans and meeting with sponsors and meeting with the production team, light team, sound team, venue, security, big up all of the peace officers in the world. We love them, love, isn't it? I just want to tell the people and say, oh, um, let's come out. Come and enjoy the show. It's going to be a beautiful production. It's not going to be your average movie. I think we'll make some noise. Yo, Dash, next one is a mm-hmm. time. Uh, 415 so, concert. 415 concert. Um, it, mm-hmm. um, quite obviously, we we'll got special performance. And if mm-hmm. you know me, I know my friend is begging. You don't want to miss oh, what a special artist <laughs> okay. could be. Okay, got you. <laughs> Know my friends, people. Please know my friends. If you know my friends in music, then please expect. No, so, what would you what would you consider your your biggest achievement reflecting on your journey thus far? I think my biggest achievement has to be seeing my parents smile and being wow. able to be so um welcoming of everything um i've heard my mom pray for me and my team and for christian and, and everybody and she being a christian and you know it's not like say well they are the best in terms of um the christian culture but for my parents then to be able for to, to still show love and and and, and respect and you know, Faith is my mom's favorite new song right now. That is the fourth feature, feature in Valiant. Um, she loves that one so much. And mm-hmm. that for me has been my biggest achievement in music in entirely. Um, even besides the plaques and the accolades and, and wow. everything, just the fact that my parents and are able to for, for enjoy what I do, see what I do, love it. You know, you know, life is not promised to, to to nobody, and a lot of persons have have lost their parents along the way. So I've been blessed to be able to have my parents to, to see um, how far I've come. You know, is 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 amazing for me. Wow, that is that is just simply awesome. And listening to your work schedule, um, it seems as if there is little or no time for family. What is your work? home life balance are you married children how do you balance that <laughs> <I'm laughing. laughs> uh, uh, um, i am not married uh without kids but you know mm-hmm. i'll fix things man yeah, i'll give you all out there <laughs> all right, all right. So that one, sweetie, we're listening out for the update. Now, in in 2022, you made a tweet stating that, you know, woman forget money, argument done. And of course, a female quickly re- responded and said, look here, prove it, put your money where your mouth there. And you followed up by asking her to just for her Zelle or banking information, which she did. Mm-hmm. And Javi, lo and behold, you know, you yeah. zelled her $1,000 US. What made you went to this extreme? And do you still stand by that statement today? 
Uh, for me, it's just the principle, I think. Um, women, um, women for me are leaders. Um, not everybody are going to have like, the same morals and values. You know, and not every girl are going to be a good girl or quote unquote. But I think the principles and of how life is set up and what women um bring to this to this world, you know, being the bearers of children and and just being able to kinda um take care of the home. And not that it is gender related for them to take care of the home, but their their ability to, to, to take care of the world in itself, you know. And I think it's just important to me for Kyle to take care of them. Maybe also to can just be the connection with, with, with me and my mama can be sentimental about, mm-hmm. you know, what so for me it's just a thing where I just feel like say women are important. They are extremely, extremely, extremely important to go to life, to the environment, to your world, to day to day activity and, and everything and just the mere fact that they ultimately are the basis of reproduction regardless of your contribution as a male they are, are the ones that really you know carry the yeah, so for nine months and some of them are great models in terms of raising their kids and stuff like that and enough of the enough of the man them know that thing. enough of the man them know say their kids are who they are because of their mothers. A lot of men, even if they don't want to admit it, know that their kids are who they are because of the time that their mothers spend with them. Especially sometimes, for example, if you're is a hardcore G or is a gangster G and your wife, you know, women love the man them with your trouble. You see me? So you have a nice little nurse girl now. We're in our nursing thing, and she looks nice and good parents raise her. And for some reason, she just finds herself with a man. You know, we are on our one part. He do not really understand how the two of them end up. But you know, woman love the mystery. And look here, Jabby, you are the going on so well. <laughs> it's the truth. You are and going then, on so well until. You know, <laughs> Those two create a life now, and then mm. you realize say, this little kid now, no matter standard English, they know the timetable, they know the, this, the that in the science book, and you as a G know say, you don't know nothing about that. You see, that is not even your thing. And I think that is, is frequent um, in our society. So as I said, we have to just, um, just give respect to women. Not that men don't play an integral part in uh, them kids' life because men do really play uh, a significant role in them, in them, in them kids' life, you know. But as myself for the thing we do, I just feel like, you know, when them good, them deserve it. Absolutely. Okay. Well, you know, you, you have said it. Mommy did a fantastic job. And in closing, okay. because we are absolutely out of time, aspiring producers often, you know, look to establish figures like yourself. What advice would you give to someone just starting their journey in music production? Um, figure out what is it that you want from this thing. You know, that is the first thing. Figure out what is it that you are trying to accomplish. Is it something that you love or is it something that you say that, you know, you could make some money from? And if you if you discover that it's something that you truly, truly love and you can't share yourself without doing it, I think that is the first step in towards molding yourself to becoming someone great because, you know, that energy will propel you for kind of just move through the industry and, and and find ways and means to make it happen. Because one thing I can guarantee you, nobody tell nobody told me that the business would be a boxing match 24-7. You know? And if you feel like you're coming out of the industry and and try to be a dominant figure and people just have a dead and just watch you and and have fun with it. It's not going to be happy, so it's not going to happen, so 
you have to be able to can push through the knives with, with that similar love, you know? And if you don't love it, trust me, when it, when things get rough and things get going, you have to just give up on it. Javi Ambassador, thank you so much. This was really awesome. Thank you for taking time out and taking us on your awesome journey. Bless up yourself every time. No problem. May 11th, for this live Kingston concert. Can I tell them what the ticket prices are? I'm going to pay for that ad. <laughs> well, it is sounding a lot like an ad. <laughs> but, but give us your social media handle because I know you post it very often. <laughs> yeah. So Javi Ambassador, J A H V Y A M B A S S A D O R, and that will allow you to find me on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, and all the rest. I will connect from there. And as I said, oh, cheers. I want to see y'all. I'm going to ask for us to for us to say all of the oh, cheers people in you know, the crowd tonight. I'm going to say how much them, them, them turn out. So I'm going to remind him. So I'm going to charge with the responsibility there. So show them so we have the whole money. Show them so we can we can call that down and come party. And you already okay, know so that Javi will put him put in money where mouth is, right? As I said, the, if if I am so serious, if you all just send me a message, if you have a group, if you have a gang, just just link me and say, yo, Javi, wanna reach a ton. I have been so blessed in the industry. I have I will not lie, I've made Financial um the this way and I I am a provider I will I will help our cat. Then say if there's a one or two coaster bus me I say or this up uno or just buy on the ticket and just jump in on the bus seven o'clock to drive out and I just come all our vibes with four fifteen Kingston. So just be on me. Just be on me. Just find me reach me. Say your me. social media handle again and say it slowly for people. It's J A H. V Y A M E A S S A D O R. Javier Ambassador. And that will find you will find me on everywhere on like Twitter, Instagram, um, TikTok. You know. Anyway, just reach me. Send a pigeon, send a bird. Just reach <laughs> they, me. They, like, they will know. reach you. This, the messages are already coming in for Javi. This one says he is a true ambassador and a motivator, especially for new entrepreneurs and upcoming artists. And that is coming from Rohan Johnson from Atlas Ocherius. This one says, big up yourself, Javi. One of the realest interviews I've heard on RTS. Wishing you success and prosperity, Javi. Yeah, and this person that. says, such a beautiful interactive segment helping me to learn to heal as self-care is a great is of great value as i've been through so many challenges quite tearful at times thank you so much big up rts javi you see, you see what the conversation doing to people and this one says yeah. such blessings to you javi this one is coming from barba dre and then this person says look here javi bless up yourself just keep javi talking keep him talking i could listen to all of you. <laughs> keep him talking and this one says big up to javi ambassador is coming from ricardo portius javi ambassador mm -hmm. thank you so much for joining us and i well, know the people of Ochebrace will definitely hold you to task yes. and send you that message. Yes. So you send your coasters. I, <laughs> yes, I will do it for them. Then I will just forward <laughs> and just say, oh, just pull up your ice square, I will just load up. I will just come on a vibe with 450. And this is some music on May 11th. I will have entertainment center. Please do not be missing. I'm putting on a show for you guys. We're in the studio every day. Every day. Bless up. This one from Spanish Town says, when the reasoning is positive with a humble soul, you will full joy it. It don't hype, no ego. Great interview. Of course, that one is coming from Shanga Beng and the Spanish Town family. Martha the Barber in August Town says, great interview in Akishima. Keep doing what you're doing, Javi Ambassador. Love it. This one says, big up to Javi, you know, Banbury, Linstead, our place. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this person says, good. Good interview. <laughs> Bless up to Javi. Continue doing the good work. I continue doing the good work. All right. Bless up yourself. Lynn's did massive them out, you know. Yes. Yeah. Lynn's different. Life is 
struggles go on. The struggles go on. Na 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 na. Juwa Mbasa, Javi. The struggles go on. Not every day I feel like my best. Sometimes me have to pray if it's a trial or a test. Feel me would I give up on my girl, me would I let I try to find a way, but me I take it step by step. Yeah. Mama tell me, I know what she don't want me. More than the devil, he can bring a friend around me. So please watch your back and watch your every step. When the pressures of life are make you fret, just don't give up. I'll do the struggles hard. I'll win your play the game and your Come and enjoy your Wendy's Dave's Classic, our signature square burger, served hot off the grill with the best ingredients. The time is... It is now 1.47. If you're a farmer or a fisher folk, oh. this oh. one's right, for I'll you. Sagicor AgriCare right. Plan. With AgriCare Plan, you can get affordable right. insurance coverage for you and your family. Life insurance, health insurance, and a critical illness coverage for as little as $675 every three months. Visit your nearest Rada or Fisheries office or call 876-936-7785 to apply. Farmers and fisher folks, get the insurance coverage your family deserves today with Sagicor AgriCare Plan. Conditions apply. What was that? Music a play and the people a rock. Ooh. Everybody acts for the Calico Jack. Coke soap make a party. Rum punch send him my way. What you know? Fruit punch mixed with the rum. Yeah. Link on my friend them know. Hey. Sipping on the vibe, yeah we happy. happy. Calico Jack and then we started. Music a play and the people a rock. Watch Everybody acts for the Calico Jack. Coke soap make a party. party. Rum punch send him my way. The release TV show, entertainment and lifestyle at its best. Catch Riveting.